is Survivor. Hello, fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to my channel. Let's get to today's video. Last week, Dre discovered a be aware advantage which granted her a license to steal. Romeo freaked out when things got real and Chanel was voted out. Post tribal High got his first vote at tribal and he did not like that at all. And I receive a hinky vote, which whatever. Romeo denied voting for High and claimed he doesn't know who did. You didn't vote for me, right? No, I have no idea. What I thought so, baby. I, I no, I voted for Chanel. Loki High is freaking out and Romeo is hoping to use that to his advantage. Get voted off next fine, but I'm not getting voted out without trying. Well, let's move on. Moving along, Roxroy is frustrated that he's working so hard while others aren't. First thing, let's go fishing. Mike, same thing, let's go get firewood. But no one cares. He thinks the next move should be for the guys to stick together and start picking off the woman. Finally, Roxroy is playing strategic, but is it too little too late? I'm still not entirely convinced. The guys need to stick together. Jonathan and Mike are down with the plan. Omar, on the other hand, doesn't like the idea of a final five immunity challenge against Thor. No one could blame him for that, of course. It's immunity challenge time. The tribe will be split into two groups. The two tribes will each compete against their group for immunity. Then both groups will participate in their own tribal council and vote someone out. The challenge is a survivor classic, where players balance on a triangular platform in rough water with their feet perched on narrow footholds. The last person standing will win immunity and kebabs for his or her group. The two groups were Dre, Jonathan, Tori, Marianne and Lindsay versus Mike, Romeo, Roxroy, Hi, and Oma. The results were Jonathan won immunity and reward for his group and Romeo just won immunity. Back at tribal, Romeo is concerned he doesn't have close relationships with any of the guys. Luckily for him, Oma spills the tea on the male alliance to Romeo, confirming Romeo's instincts that they were coming for him at tribal. Omar sees more of a future with Romeo than he does Roxroy, and in order to make that happen, he has to get Romeo and Hai to work together. Hai is interested in exploring this idea, but he would want to have Mike on board so he doesn't lose Mike as an ally. Mike is worried that if he votes out Roxroy, then his alliance won't trust him going forward. Zooming in on the ladies and Jonathan, a vote for Tori seems to make the most sense. However, Jonathan wants to get rid of an idol by targeting Drea. Jonathan's plan seems to be the popular plan. Jonathan wants to flush Mary Ann's idol out and keep Mary Ann's extra vote, completely unaware of the fact that Dre has an extra vote, an amulet, an idol, and a beware advantage that could help her steal Mary Ann's idol. Jonathan fumbled the plan when trying to throw Dre off the scent. Jonathan tells Dre that he wants to vote out Marianne because she has an idol. Dre has an idol too. Damn Time to see was in trouble at Tribal. Roxroy tells Jeff that the day was kind of calm without a lot of politicking. If no one speaks to you and you're not involved in any of the politicking, that means you're the target. Damn! The guys vote and Jeff asks if anyone wants to play an idol or an advantage and nobody does. Romeo receives one vote, Roxroy receives two and the ninth person eliminated from Survivor 42 and the second member of the jury is Roxroy. Jeff tells Roxroy to take his place on the jury in time for the second tribal council. The ladies group with Jonathan walks in and they notice Roxroy. Dre then points out the accurate survivor pattern where at some point in the game black contestants start getting eliminated one after the other and this did happen in season 41, just by the way. Dre now realizes that she's going to have to change her tactics. She tells everyone that she'll be playing her idol tonight. After some whispering, they all agree to target Tori. 
Mary Ann opens up to everyone saying she won't be responsible for voting a third consecutive black person out of the game. Mary Ann pledges to play her idol as well so people won't think she's staying in the game because of her race. Watching will know that I didn't make it another day because of race but because we all come with our burdens and we all come with our privileges that one in 18 might be bigger or smaller for some people and that sucks. Tori is not voted out because she's white. Dre and Mary Ann's experiences made them unwilling to continue the back-to-back -back black players being voted out and the message that it sends out. It had nothing to do with the game at this point. I hope everyone really gets that. When we finally return to the actual game, Mary Ann and Dre both hand over their idols and it seems pretty clear that everyone wants to send Tori home. Tori wants to know everyone's reason for voting her out. Tori says she's going to play her shot in the dark, which she does, but unfortunately for her, Tori isn't safe and she becomes the 10th person eliminated from Survivor 42 and the third member of the jury. Hey, Couch Potato, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon.